Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. The Daily Compliance News for September 15, 2021, the Gensler Testifies edition. And we begin with that story as <clears throat> Gary Gensler, SEC Commissioner, uh, testified to the Senate today, and he uh, sharpened his criticism of cryptocurrency and defended his get-tough approach to the industry to, despite criticism by some Republicans. He called for a more aggressive approach to policing the cryptocurrency as the industry's surging growth has rattled financial markets and sparked debate over how a hands-on Washington regulator should be in shaping its future. Coinbase, the nation's largest cryptocurrency, said this week that the SEC has threatened to sue it if it moves forward uh, to uh, allow uh, investors to invest in digital assets, uh, and they have not registered uh, with the Wall Street right regulator. The uh, testimony uh, was a little contentious because, of, of course, the Republicans are against this going forward. Next up, we also had testimony from a <coughs> Theranos whistleblower, Erica Chung, who worked as a lab assistant at Theranos. She testified <coughs> that... Um, on the first day of her trial last week, she revealed that uh, the company celebrated blood testing technology did not work, and today she uh, gave more expansive discussions about <clears throat> um, the fraud and failures of <clears throat> Theranos to come clean as well. Next up, uh, you may rem remember engine company number one, the uh, investor who uh, sparked a revolt by Exxon shareholders who t then turned down three of four Exxon-backed uh, candidates for the board and voting in engine number one. Well, now they want to <clears throat> have a total value framework uh, which would um, evaluate assets, uh, corporation values to climate impact. This would certainly be a big change, and in a white paper, uh, which will uh, the be which will be published by the firm. They said that traditional ESG scores were too detached from uh, financial valuations assigned to companies, and so Engine Number One wants to attach a value to a company's impact on climate, water consumption, workforce diversity, diversity, etc. So this is going to be very interesting to see where this may go forward, and certainly for those in the ESG world, a very robust debate. And our final story comes to us from the Wall Street Journal. Boeing and current and former directors have asked a Delaware court to overturn a ruling indicating that she found the plane maker's board publicly lied about its handling of the 737 MAX. In a motion for clarification, they said that the court's order contained categorical categorical statements about uh, Boeing and the directors misleading the public about the board's safety oversight. So uh, it will be interesting to see. That's certainly going to be important for the shareholder suit going forward. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.